hello everyone in this video we are going to see how we can read a barcode text using a android java project now we are going to create new android studio project here we have to select the empty activity or you can uh, choose any other activity that you prefer so i will go next i'm going to use the application name as barcode scanner so here in this case I will include some default image in a image view so you can customize by adding camera photo taking facility so I will say bar code scanner so the language is Java so I will press finish guys we are not going to do such a large code instead here google ml kit provides us a library called barcode scanning using this library we can scan a barcode in image with several line of codes it is very easier all you have to do just go to the link available in the description and then select barcode scanning from here in the vision apis click android here if you scroll you will find this dependency code you have to copy that and in your project go to this gradle scripts build.gradle module version and then here if you go to the dependencies section you can paste your code there okay and then click sync now all right guys now i want to include some default image in my layout file for that i'm going to download some barcode from google let's say this one so I can save image as okay the image is downloaded so in this resources folder in drivable folder I am going to copy that to here and refactor it now we have to rename this by removing spaces so any other special characters numbers etc so refactor rename i will say default underscore bar code refactor okay now we can open our activity main and then i will click split here i am going to change this layout type into linear layout and set the orientation for this android colon orientation as vertical okay now we can add the image view here i will say image view width as much parent and height as let's say about 200 db and then i will say android colon src here inside double quotations we have to say at drivable for slash and the image name as default barcode or any other the thing is as i told you earlier you can use your camera to take some image and then put that into this image view okay and after this image view we can add the button to scan i will say button width as match parent and height as wrap content so the text will be android colon text scan so we can add some margins to this android colon margin left as 12 db so it is uh, suggesting us to use the margin start 
instead left okay and after that I am going to define the margin end Android colon margin end Android colon layout underscore margin end as 12 dB okay that's fine so finally we can give some identifiers for each layout components so we can say Android colon ID here is equals to at plus ID for slash then the ID will be image view barcode so for the button I will say the ID as button scan btn scan okay that's it for the layout so we can go ahead and open our java class now everything is ready to code but before that i am going to initialize my button and the image view private button btn scan now in this on create method i will say btn create no btn scan is equals to find view by id inside parenthesis i will say r dot id dot and the identifier that we provided into the layout component which is btn scan all right now the final one private image view barcode image now i will set this equals to find view by id inside parenthesis r dot id dot and the layout component id which is image view barcode i'll put that here okay the next thing is create a new object with bitmap drivable i will say bitmap drivable and the variable name for that as drivable it is equals to now i'm going to typecast bit map drivable and after that we have to use this image view variable name to here after the parentheses and then use dot get drivable method okay and after that we can say a new object with bitmap type here we have to import this if you press alt and enter it will import the class don't worry about these codes i will include whole project in the github and then you will be able to access this project also i will include some word file link so the variable name as bitmap set this equals to drivable dot get bitmap and then parenthesis semicolon okay all right the next thing we have to do is just create the click event for this button i'm going to say btn scan dot set on click listener inside parenthesis new on if you type on then it will suggest you the code press enter okay now inside this click event I'm going to create a new object with a barcode scanner so define that variable name as you wish I am going to set this equals to barcode scanning not barcode scanner but barcode scanning this one and then finally say dot get client semicolon all right now after that I'm going to say barcode scanner dot process in this process method we have to pass in the image but not from the bitmap instead there is a type in ml kit called input image okay and then I will set some variable name as image set this equals to input image class dot from bitmap this one now inside this 
first argument will be the bitmap that we created here and the second one is the rotation degree the rotation degree is the code that you are going to provide here to define the rotation degree of the bitmap that you are going to convert to an input image object it is used to correctly orient the image data when creating the image object the rotation degree is the code that the rotation degree in the code that you are going to provide here is the rotation degree of the bitmap that you want to convert to an input image object it is used to correctly orient the image data when creating the input object the rotation degree is given in degrees and specifies the rotation of the image in the counterclockwise direction for example if the image is taken in portrait orientation the rotation degree will be 90 degrees but the thing is our image is in landscape version so we are going to say 0 for 0 degrees for landscape images okay if your image is in portrait version you can go ahead and define 90 okay now I will use 0 degrees and after that we had to put this image object here after providing that image in parentheses we can use dot add on success listener now inside parentheses you can specify new on then it will suggest you the code you have to press enter okay we are going to add the add-on failure listener to type add-on failure listener inside parentheses you can type new on and it will suggest you the code all right now here in this on success method we can go ahead and create a new for loop i will say barcode press enter after that we can say this as barcode colon we have to say barcodes which is this variable add braces after the parentheses and then this is the time for the extraction you can say is string barcode data is equals to this barcode dot get it should be row value get row value and then finally semicolon all right now if we need we can use a task to see the output inside this double quotations uh, no we can remove that barcode data can be passed into here okay now we can go ahead and run this okay this is showing us an error that because we have to update the compile sdk version into the latest one you can check the latest one and update that currently i have 32 i will update into 33 click sync now okay now let's go ahead and try again okay I'm going to press scan now we got this value a1 b2 something like that but what I will do just go ahead and open a barcode generator to generate some known values
I'm going to type subscribe here okay we can click download here it is been downloaded as a gift file so I can go ahead and open this and convert that into a PNG you don't have to do these kind of things you can use your camera we can put that in the drivable folder and now I am going to open my layout file in this image view I am going to change the src path into the new file path which is barcode alright now we can see what is happening here I am going to click scan now we got the value the subscribe okay I hope this video helps thank you very much